Synchronous generator. It is the most common machinery used in independent generation of electricity. The large amount of distributed generators and inverters paralleled to the grid reaches, in total, the size of a big power plant. At the same time, the rotating inertia in the grid decreases. That brings potential risk of instability of the system, and so, increased risk of generator failures, such as asynchronous operation, also called pole slip. To understand what the pole slip is, it is necessary to understand the principle of a synchronous generator. The generator consists of a stable, non-rotating part, the stator, inside of which rotates the moving part, the rotor. The rotor windings produce a magnetic field, similar to the one of a permanent magnet. As the rotor rotates on the generator shaft, the rotor field rotates as well. Let's remove the rotor and look only at the stator. It contains three windings connected to the generator output and so to the mains voltage. The current flowing through the windings results in a rotating stator field. Both fields are held in line by magnetic forces of rotor and stator fields, providing a magnetic link. Look at the phenomenon between rotor and stator linked together by their magnetic link. To allow easier observation, it is practical to use the rotating camera view, where the observer is tied to the rotor movement and lets the complete background of the scene rotate in the opposite direction. The fields are indicated only by their axes, red axis for the motor and blue axis for the stator magnetic field. With increasing load of the generator, the rotor magnetic field diverts from the stator by a so-called load angle. This angle is caused by generator load, as if it was trying to hold the rotor back. It also relates to other factors like level of excitation of the rotor magnetic field or level of voltage on stator terminals. At nominal load, the load angle usually operates between 30 and 60 degrees. If the generator load increases or the excitation fails, the load angle runs above the level of the generator stability. The magnetic link is broken and the rotor runs out of the synchronism. Severe electrical and mechanical damage to the generator, its drive, shaft, windings and electrical connections may easily occur. Also on the mains side, the pole slip has more severe effects than short circuits because its current is oscillating in both directions, imposing pulses of severe stress on the network equipment and endangering its stability. Therefore, grid operators as well as generator operators seek methods in order to prevent pole slip from happening. COMAP has developed a method of load angle monitoring allowing effective detection of a developing pole slip even before it occurs. The load angle is permanently monitored and displayed on the unit screen. The limit of pole slip detection is set by default to 100 degrees to avoid nuisance tripping in the whole theoretical area of operation. As the load increases, the load angle increases too. And in the very moment of pole slip occurrence, the generator is disconnected from the mains. The connected area stays fully supplied from the other side of the grid and the generator is immediately ready to synchronize back and continue in fail-free operation.